Hong Kong authorities' decision not to air this year's Oscars has brought more global attention to Hong Kong's struggle for democracy. One of the Oscar-nominated movies this year is a documentary about the pro-democracy protests in 2019. Libby Hogan reports. Only democracy can save us from this disaster. The documentary Do Not Split is one of the latest pieces of art to have caused a stir in Hong Kong. The film follows demonstrators on the front line of Hong Kong's 2019 protests and has been nominated for an Oscar. Now, the free-to-air Hong Kong TV station TVB has said it won't screen the awards night after more than half a century of airing the Oscars. The decision has fueled concerns about freedom in the city. Do Not Split's Norwegian filmmaker Anders Harmer believes the decision brings more global attention to the city's struggle for democracy. Our documentary has become a part of the story which is told in our movie, uh, which is how the room for expression and freedom of press and uh, other basic uh, democratic rights are disappearing in Hong Kong. TVB said, quote, it was purely a commercial decision that we decided not to pursue the Oscars this year. China imposed a sweeping national security law last year in response to the often violent protests. Beijing has defended the need for the law, saying it was necessary to restore order. Western governments and rights groups say the law has crushed freedoms in the city. Many activists, including US-based Joey Su, who appears in the documentary, have fled the city to continue their advocacy. I mean, obviously, do not believe being nominated for Oscars is going to be a very encouraging and motivating news for the people in Hong Kong who are still trying so hard to sustain the movement. So in that sense, I would say it is not shocking or surprising for me that the Hong Kong government or the uh, pro-Beijing telebroadcasting companies decided not to show that. Scrutiny over arts, media and culture has intensified in recent months. Cinemas pulled a local protest documentary, a press photography exhibition was banned and a new art museum closed to allow the police's new national security unit to vet its collection.